love pissing you off gets me off like my lawyers when the fucking judge lets me off the band of air and the rib cage nerves have been a very touchy subject the past few days some are angry some are happy and some couldn't care less roll it welcome back before we start, this is for the one or two people in the comments who said I don't have the band of air, so that's why I'm not upset it's getting nerfed. What's this, you window licker? Look, wow, it's almost like I have the band of air. Is it a band of air? Yep, I think it's a band of air. Some of you really got me fucked up. You better ask somebody. All right, let's get down to business. Most of you know the band of air and the rib cage are both being nerfed and the player base feels some type of way regarding these upcoming changes, and I don't blame them. The people who want these nerfs have some valid points, the players who despise and hate these changes have some valid points, and like it or not, maybe even the devs also have some valid points. But maybe also they don't. We'll get to that. My problem with these nerfs might not be what you think they are. I'm not so much mad at the nerfs for the nerfs, but more mad at why do the devs bring items to the game, leave them in the game for years, and then suddenly realize, oh, that's overpowered, oh, that's too strong, and then nerf them one or two years later. It's not like they suddenly were overpowered or suddenly dealt too much damage from one day to the next. They were unbalanced from the start. But they have been doing this for years, leaving items in games that are not working as they should. They overproc, don't work as intended, or are completely broken. They did it with the old Lost Mouse set, they did it with the Orca set, and with other items along the way. Cryptic and the dev should make changes like this immediately after releasing overpowered items, and not months or years later. I mean, they have the details, they know how things perform, they actually see it. In fact, they shouldn't even release these items before making sure they don't create unwanted imbalances. Cryptic and the devs need to realize one thing. When too much time passes by after items are thrown into the game, players will and do get attached to those items. The more they grind for that item, the more they use it in their builds, the more time you leave a broken, unbalanced, overpowered item in the game that you should have nipped in the butt before you released it or even just a week after release, the more value that item will have for those players. Players spend time grinding, farming, and building around overpowered items, which then forces builds to depend on those items to a point where if you remove that one item, your whole build doesn't work. Your stats literally get ruined, and then you'll have to find other solutions which don't exist. The rib cage is a prime example of this, because if you remove it, you lose 25% stats. How the fuck are you going to get 25% more stats from other items without ruining your whole build? How it should work is if you remove one item, there should be a replacement for that item that might not be as good but can keep your build and character functional and not make you want to kick somebody in the face with your foot bone. And kick you both in the fucking jaw with my foot bone. So cryptic, if you would have nipped the rib cage and the band of air in the butt from the start, then this wouldn't be an issue. But now, players have spent millions and millions for the rib cage and hundreds or even thousands of frustrating hardcore boss runs for the band of air only to see it nerfed. So from this perspective, players have the right to be angry and frustrated with these nerfs, and I couldn't blame them for it. But we can't change the past. Things were released the way they were, and now all we can do is deal with it. So regardless of the grind, the cost, and us hating nerfs, which I absolutely hate myself, if we are going to be real here, these two items, no matter how we spin it, were and are overpowered. These two items account for huge portions of your damage. The band of rare alone is up to 30% of it, depending on a class. So to say it's not overpowered is just said out of frustration, because we all know it is. I have both these items, and I grinded more than most. I had over 300 Night Spine Nerves back when I took first place in the Redeemed Citadel's fourth milestone. So trust me, I know what grind means, and I know the value of the rib cage because I farmed the shit out of that thing. So anyone who thinks that 25% stats from one damn piece of armor isn't way too much is not being honest with themselves. He's literally in denial. The hate here shouldn't be because of the nerfs to these items that are obviously doing way more than they should. But the hate should be aimed towards the time wasted and the money spent, and maybe even for the devs who are always waiting too long before actually fixing something. Players got used to using the rib cage and the band of air. So players will be mad and that's just the way it is. But don't try and convince me that they aren't overpowered because you're living in a dream world. You've been living in a dream world, Neo. You literally need two and a half Garistro horns to get the same stats as one rib cage. That alone speaks volumes about the rib cage. People just don't understand that when something is overtuned like that, the devs are stuck developing around it, even if it's their fault, which makes the content inaccessible to those who don't have it. Should it be more difficult? Sure, but we shouldn't be in a scenario where the absence of a specific gear piece makes something impossible. I just think Cryptic and the devs should think of these things beforehand and not after the fact. 
Players are predisposed to assuming the worst when it comes to Cryptic, since they have screwed up endless times in the past, and players will find it really, really hard to believe Cryptic due to that past. Even if Cryptic might be actually doing something good, it's just the way it's going to be. It could be as simple as Cryptic just fucked up or we're too lazy or incompetent to fix those problems. But now that stat inflation is causing problems, they decided to nerf stuff. Nerfs absolutely suck. They should focus on releasing gear that works from the get-go so people don't feel slighted in the long run. Because even if Cryptic is right about those gear pieces, players won't believe them due to a shady past and because it took them so long to fix it. It's just the way it is. You know it. They know it. I know it. Anyways. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm really curious what you think. And to a few of you window lookers out there, I know I'm living rent free in your head, but don't make me raise the rent and kick you out. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe. Yeah.